You guys, I still don't know how I feel about this orchid over here. I don't know. I, th I think this might be the last one that I have it. And, and I'm gonna have to bring him back because I miss him. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. So I did mention it in my last video, but that's like movie related. And this is, you know, like board game related. And I did originally mention it in the board game video. I didn't end up shaving my hair, y'all. Look at that. I did my both sides, by the way. I'm excited. I love it. So stats. I don't have stats today. I totally forgot to prepared. Uh, prepare, wait, who is that? I don't. I don't. Not. To, not me today. Not. Not me. Apparently, I can't even speak. Future me is gonna do that. I'm just gonna put it right here. This is what I played. Yes. Um, and I did play 25 physical games, and that's what we're gonna be talking about today. The 12 games that I did play uh, during the con, I'm gonna try to just like breeze by them very quickly. Um, maybe just kind of give key points of what the game's really about because I just uploaded a video where I'm ranking all the games and I go more into detail in that video so if you would like to know more about those games then I suggest checking that video out. So this one's format to do this wrap up is gonna be a little bit different because I know I am still kind of playing around with how I'm doing this and this month I decided to mesh both contents together. I'm going to be giving a movie recommendation that I feel like go with it for the most part I feel like most of them I did pretty well on like tagging them together but some of them you know what if there's a bat in the movie in the movie in the game and there's a bat over here that's about the only similarities because the first game we're going to talk about I couldn't I couldn't think about a damn movie I really couldn't and I think everything else I, I feel like I did pretty well for the most part maybe another one was that know but we're gonna go ahead and go with the one that i couldn't really get i was like i don't i don't know so first up is gonna be a tiwa all the bat movies they're all kind of scary there you know scary thing about this i couldn't do about it anywho so here you're just trying to like develop your little small community you're trying to expand you're trying to feed people because you've got to feed people you're trying to get these bats and you're trying to you know plant trees for them to grow fruit so the bats can come and eat it and then they can fly away and then like poop and make more trees Treat pooping game. The movie that I am associating that with, uh, very badly by the way, oh I lost a ding dong. Burn Gully. Because there's a bat. If y'all could think about a movie, let me know because I couldn't think of one. So then we're moving on to Dinosaur Island, Roar and Right. And it's a dinosaur based game. Is it my first dinosaur game? I think it is. I really like this game y'all you're, you're like doing a theme park you're rolling some big chunky nice dice the solo mode is really nice i really enjoy the solo mode i've only played this game solo so you're picking your dice for some resources and then you're picking other dice to kind of be able to take your action you get threats so you have to make sure you get those threats locked down because you know what people don't want to come to a park when people are dying mm -mm -mm. so you got to make sure you got those dinosaurs very well secured you're hiring people to you know help you run the place you're also drawing out on your map the facilities that you're building obviously for this one we're gonna go with jurassic world first jurassic world i feel like that one uh, fits the best and honestly it's like the better movie out of the jurassic world movie and then we're gonna go on with Fleet the Dice Game. It's part of like the Three Sisters. You already know how we are with Three Sisters and Motor, Motor City. And this one is a fishing game. I'm not particularly here for the theme of it, but I was hearing a lot of people talk about how it's probably one of the better of the three. I've only played this game solo as well. Just like Three Sisters, it's Combo City once you kind of get your little thing going. If you're somebody who likes rolling rights, you're somebody who likes combos. If you're somebody who likes fishing, this could be the perfect game for you. It's a very like here game for me. I didn't find it like too overly complicated and it wasn't um like too light. Like I it just perfect little medium. I this is a game that I've played like at night before I go to bed. The movie that I am associating this with is The Perfect Storm. It is based on a true story about fishermen. Cause fish over here. Um, and they're going out into sea and they're trying to get some fish. I mean, is it the best, best movie? No, it was a movie that I really enjoyed more back in the day. Continuing on with the rolling rights, 
Three Sisters, because again, we can go a month without playing Three Sisters and fighting with that heifer. Plus, it's perfect that I talked about Fleet, the dice game, and then we're going on to Three Sisters. If I had Motor City, I would put that underneath, but I don't. Should I get Motor City if you guys have checked it out? Like, do y'all recommend it? Or are you like, no, just stick with these two. You're good with what you have. We talk about this game a lot. You already know the beef with Farmer, Heifer, whatever. We don't like her. She a hater. We all haters, like I said. Oh, part of my 10 by 10 challenge. This is how my 10 by 10 challenge is going for May. Um, not much has <laughs> has happened <laughs> there. Movie that I'm associating this with. It, it took me a minute because I was kind of going a different direction. And then when I thought about this movie, I said, this fits perfect. Also, Peter Rabbit. Because like, Peter Rabbit, basically Farmer Edith, she's messing with the owners, you know, destroying stuff, doing all these shenanigans. I think it fits pretty well. And we're gonna move on to the Search for Planet X. It's another game that I've talked about, um, not a lot, a lot, but it's a game that I don't play as often, yet when I play with play it, I'm just like, damn, this game is so good. It's so, so good. Why don't I play you more? You're just searching for Planet X as well as what's next to those two planets. It is a social deduction game. It is app based. So if you're somebody who doesn't like like app based games, this might not be a game for you. The movie that I'm associating this with is another um, movie that's based on a true story and that's The Theory of Everything. We're basically following like the story of one of the more like brilliant uh, people that have ever lived, Stephen Hawking's theories that are happening um, you know, uh, with the black holes and it's like space related, right? Because he's like trying to like, it's probably not the best movie. I know that there's other like planet based, more searchy type of movies. Then we have Dungeon Stripes in Danger, another rolling rank. You're just going through this dungeon, you're exploring, um, you're using dice to be able to make it into each individual room. You have to like unlock certain uh, rooms and you have to have the right you know dice rolls to be able to make it there the solo version is more complicated just because you do have to hit a monster every single turn otherwise you do lose a life so usually before i even even before i even make it to the monster i've already lost like three or four lives and then you still have to make sure you have those extra like two lives left um by the time you make it to big pop a monster in the middle because you know when you hit him he makes you lose like two lives already it's great it's like a dungeon crawling dice rolling game and the movie that i i'm associating this with is uh the journey sorry it's journey to the center of the earth this does star brendan fraser not the one with the rock the adventure movie which you're going on an adventure here, you're exploring enemies, the plants, the stuff that comes to life that are attacking you. So it's kind of like the little monsters that are in the dungeon as well. It's like, it's very, very dangerous. Really great, like, family movie, a great little adventure. And then we have, ouch! This is a small little card game. You're collecting flowers off of this cactus. Um, all these cards are face down and you have to decide, you know, which of the four sides you're trying to flip over if there's a cactus you discard the card if you don't get the side with the cactus then you what you get that card into your section you're just trying to collect the most flowers now this one is one that i picked the movie that had a cactus in it and out of all the cactus movies of everywhere i decided to go with fools rush in this has matthew perry this has Salma hayek in it um, they end up meeting in a bar. She ends up getting pregnant. Her family ends up taking him hunting, I think it was. And he ends up falling into some cactus. Ouch! Cactus. Boom. Then we have Final Girl. Um, I ended up playing the thing version. So the organism one. I ask everybody I feel that, wa that watches that plays Final Girl. Um, it's great, great. It's just solo only game. Very, very thematic. And the thing, you don't really know who you're up against because you know they're like simulated. Who has been taken? There's like three, I think it's three, two or three of the colorful meeples that those are suspect. So you have to go, you have to test them. You know that those people are like not to mess with at this particular moment. The good thing about this particular version is that 
it gives you an opportunity because you don't actually have somebody to fight um, when you start off with. No, the killer isn't actually coming at you because there's technically no killer, killer yet because they're like simulated. They want to blend in with all the other folks in Antarctica. They're trying to act like they're your boss, like they're your kinfolk. Is it the chef? I don't know. We don't know. I actually have two recommendations as far as movie-wise because obviously depending on what um, scenario, whatever, um, you pick, because in my case, it was a thing. Highly recommend the thing. If you haven't watched the, the thing, oh my god, you guys, it's so, so good. I did do a review of the thing because I just actually watched it for the first time, I think like two years ago. I covered it uh, for that year's like 13 Nights of Halloween. I'll go ahead and link that up here if you're interested. I talked about both because I think like two years ago was the first thing. And then last, this past October, I did the 20 whatever, the, the prequel version. Of it. They're actually both really good, but obviously the thing, the original one, like, oh my god, it's like, it's great. Um, it's, it still scared me. Oh my god, I'm scared. If you're like, you know what, it's a little bit too scary. I don't know how much more scary stuff I want in my life. Um, then I would recommend the kind of like parody uh, trope of the final girl. There is a 20, I think like 15, did I write it here? 2015 version, The Final Girls. It's a funny movie. It's one of those where they get sucked into the scary movie and they're trying to get out. They're like, oh my God, how are we gonna get out? We have to like stick with the final girl of that scary movie. I did cover that one last year also. So I'll, I'll link that one down below as well if you're interested to know more about that particular movie. Then we have Watergate. This is just a two player only game. Uh, you're playing either Nixon or the Washington Post. As Nixon, um, I don't know what it's called. We're gonna call it Influence. I don't know the information. Uh, when you're trying to get five red disc into your player section so you can win and as uh, the journalist you're trying to get two informants um to have information that leads up to nixon which is in the center of the board it's a very much tug and war type of game the movie that fits perfectly with this game would be the post and it's generally about the game nixon versus well it's like from the point of view of the the journalist situation because the post the washington post i'm not gonna lie i haven't seen it then we have mars escape um this is a game that we got to demo while we were at the con as well i think i said that it was live on kickstarter in that video but it wasn't live on kickstarter yet but you can put your your notification it's a quick little game um aliens backstabbing try to kill aliens but you're also trying to escape mars and guess what there's only room for one of you on that spaceship so it really is a race the movie that i would associate this with with again that has really nothing to do with it but as soon as i saw the game my mind immediately went to mars attacks <sighs> that oh my god i feel like that movie is underrated i think i have a review on that if i do i'll i'll link that down below if you want to know more about that um movie as well so then we have gathering gloom this is another game that we got to demo and they are doing i think pre-orders right now basically you're playing monsters a bunch of monsters that you can pick from and you are just trying to be part of this village of this community and but you're still trying to be respectful right because you're just living up on the hill you're not even living technically in the village but the pesky villagers they don't trust you because you're a monster they're afraid of you let's face it because you're bound to kill them you're about to eat them or you're gonna make them into like your minion the movie that i would associate this with i feel is hotel transylvania because again a array of monsters that are like in this hotel i know they're not living there but you know vacation wise or whatever i mean some of them are living there and i mean i guess technically the villagers aren't afraid of them but they think that they're afraid of them terraforming mars Ares expedition part of my 10 by 10 challenge i freaking love this movie this movie this game you're trying to terraform mars the solo version is very well especially now that i know how to play it correctly because at first i was totally playing it wrong i was like how the hell am i gonna terraform you in five turns it ain't a video of mine unless my damn batteries run out so every time we're talking about terraforming mars i always mention the martian so instead of doing that once again even though i did just mention it because that actually fits perfectly to the play with this game we're gonna go somewhere else and we're gonna remain in mars but that's gonna be about it and we're gonna do total recall moving on to first rat this is another one that we got to play at the con so if you'd like to know more uh you can check out that video there but basically you're trying to go up the little 
trail, aka the junkyard. You're collecting resources. Um, depending on you know where you're up on the track and depending on where your little light bulb is, allows you to get extra resources. You're able to steal stuff, but ultimately you're just trying to build a rocket ship because you hear oh, the moon is made of shields and you're trying to get up there to the cheese moon. So the movie reference here will be associated with the moon, despicable me, cause you know, they're trying to steal the moon. Then we're going with my most surprising play at the con decorum. In this one, you're either a couple or your roommates and you're trying to decorate your home. So you really can't say what you don't like specifically. It's one of those games where you're like, well, I hate that. I love it. I'm okay about this. And you're just kind of switching things up. Both have goals that you have to meet and that way in order to be satisfied with you know the overall look of the house the tone whatever it is and it's very very puzzling it's really good i again i was shocked because i didn't think this game was for me now the movie that i'm associating with because i was also having a bit of a a hard time with this particular game but once again my friend the one that gave me the fern gilly whatever uh movie also suggested this one and I thought I had actually seen this movie and I was like, okay, well, it's like a rewatch, but as I was watching it, nothing honestly sounded familiar. So I think it was really a first time watch. And it's gonna be The First Wives Club. There's a particular scene in here where there's a interior designer and he goes, ah, the chair, it's hideous. So that's part of the, the game, right? That you're just like, it's hideous. That's the only part, honestly, <laughs> that I'm pinpointing. It's really, really funny, you guys. I think it's aged pretty okay you know there's of course a lot of outdated things but it's still really funny we're gonna move on to grand austria hotel again um a game that we played at the con um you're running a cafe you're running a hotel you're trying to get the people from the cafe satisfied to be able to get up into their rooms into the hotels um you guys if you can let me know what space number six i didn't mention it in my last video well in, yeah in the the ranking video um i'm not sure if anybody has said anything yet but just in case i'm gonna mention it again here what does space six do because we don't we didn't understand it and i would really really love to have this game in my collection but space six we didn't get we didn't get you pay a crown and then you're able to do one through five but how specifically are you are you able to do that because no sense there's another game that we're just randomly associating with something because it really has nothing to do with it other than the fact that it has hotel in the name and it's one of my favorite movies and it's gonna be the grand budapest hotel <laughs> as soon as i saw this game i immediately thought about that movie Wes anderson film looks stunning there's a murder that happens there's no murder that happens in grand austria hotel but it looks great there's a hotel involved beautiful hotel then we're moving on to tin penny parks you're building a park a theme park it is quite different puzzle game i'm not gonna lie i liked it i really did i don't know if i like it enough for the collection i did talk about it more in that other video the game that i'm associating this with is the way way back it's kind of coming to each story we're in a water park here i know we're not building anything but there's a theme park involved and that's kind of where we're going with this theme park related great movie um you get all the feels the last uh, ones on the list honestly are all games that we played at the con uh, we have meadow it's a beautiful looking game you are just trying to collect some cards to build up like your little engine i guess you can say i guess that would be right like an like, engine builder i don't know what exactly it's called like you're tiling up your cards but as you're putting the cards on top of these other cards you lose some resources from it i don't think i've ever played a game that does that before uh, so that's new to me and it's really interesting also the game that i would associate this with just because of the look of the game generally in nature right we're outside boom bambi oh my god i love bambi like bambi was one of like my childhood like favorite disney movies then we have creature comforts this one's a cute game metal is a beautiful game creature comforts for it being a cute game has a lot of game to it i've said this a lot of times i'm not really here for like cutesy games i just don't really see the replayability in it um flamecraft definitely proved that for me and i feel like this other game too that i played that i was just like oh i got you it was cute and i wasn't I was like, no. There's like a lot of game in this one. I really, really, really like this one in my collection. You're just trying to go through the, the seasons, collecting like comfy things. Make sure your family is nice and cozy and ready for the winter. They don't want to die. Oh, maybe they, they probably will survive because I don't think you're really collecting food. 
they just, you know, they're not gonna be bored. They're not gonna be bored and they're being so comfy. But it's kind of like um, a little gamble type of deal because you're uh, putting your workers out there and if you don't have the dice, or if the dice that are rolled don't let you complete that action, then you know you're coming back. You can't do nothing that that turn. So it gets a little like gamble-ish, whatever. <laughs> but the game, the game, the movie that I'm associating this with that I feel also goes very perfectly because there's animals that are preparing for the winter. Mind you, they just came out of hibernation, but you know what, you can't never be too prepared. That's gonna be Over the Hedge. It's another animated movie great love it maybe there's some backstabbing involved there there's no backstabbing involved in the movie in the game sorry i was like too much going back and forth finally we have turning machine like i said in the last two videos that we talked about it this game wasn't for us i would play it one more time because i just feel like we didn't get it very well but at the same time it just even when i heard about it it just didn't seem like my type of game this is honestly how i felt that i was gonna feel about decorum but unfortunately decorum proved me wrong Turning Machine, unfortunately, did not prove me wrong. Um, it just really wasn't for us. We're just gonna do it like that. But the movie that goes perfectly with it um, is the Imitation Game. And literally, same thing, you're cracking codes. I think it's based on a true story as well, if I recall. I, I only saw it once. It's a war movie. We're trying to crack the code, I'm pretty sure, with the German, if not the Russians. One of those two, for sure. <laughs> Movie fits perfectly. Boom, same thing. Cracking codes. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Analog. Same thing. Perfect. But these are the games that I played in the month of May. Did we play the same things? Let me know down below. Crossovers. Woo, awesome. If not, that's totally fine. Um, most of my game, my wrap-ups are going to be the same games, to be honest with you, because again, my collection is kind of small. You know, I, I had more different games this month because we did go to the college. That did help a lot. If you haven't already, please give this video a like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, again, if you guys are new, I am mainly a movie-related channel, but I have been like standing in your game board pool and i'm uh, loving it hopefully you guys don't kick me out but um if any of my content sounds you know interesting to you maybe i can be your movie gal uh, then consider uh subscribing that is it for me today thank you so much for watching until next time i'll see you guys at concessions bye